Welcome back everybody to another episode of Let's Play Pathologic 2. We find ourselves at the humble abode of the bachelor, who last time we approached and left him with a sample of the old blood. Um, in the last episode we also made quite a number of um, progressive steps because we actually created a medicine, I guess, um, with infected blood. And we had the other one, the other tincture, that was with the infected brain tissue. Both of them, in our thoughts, revealed that they were uh, they were useful as um, uh, takes over the um, like an extract serum from I wasn't what was it here? Did I choose the right organ? Infected blood. So it was useful as an antibiotic, but it wasn't the panacea that we are hoping to achieve. As you can see, that leaves one more here, and then there's three other circles that are optional over there. Quite a few things. Sabrov seized father's murderer again. We were made aware that another man has been captured. Apparently this time they found the murderer for real. Well, we will uh, have a look and find out more about this. But on today's episode, the plan is as follows. First, we, since we're here, we're obviously going to talk to Jankowski um, and see if slash what he was able to find uh, analyzing the bull blood. We have already been to the theater. We've done our task already for the day. This is completed. So there's essentially, there's, there's a couple of different options. We could from here straight head home or at least try to head home on our path, maybe take the outskirts and see if we can... Um, if we can gather a couple more a couple more herbs because we are unfortunately all out again as you can see and i also see that i uh, desperately need to put some order in my inventory again anyhow secondly going home to make more tincture that leads us to the third point which is we definitely want to go back to Saborov and see who they have caught and apprehended this time around so without further ado let's see Good bachelor has found. Oh, I'm exhausted. On my last legs. Can imagine. Well, seems like you were right. But it's of no use to either of us. What? Suppose so aren't immune, or why is that? Why is that? Indeed, they produce antibodies. A lot of them. But they're useless to us. Maybe to you, Adam, not to me. Tell me more. How well are you versed in raw sample hyperimmunization for xenogenic serums? Do you know how immunoglobulins are extracted from a native serum? Okay. Um, I'm gonna pretend I know what I'm doing, but I don't. No. Say it once more, slowly. We didn't learn that in any of my courses. Raw sample hyperimmunization for xenogenic or xenogenic serums. Do you know how immunoglobulins globulins, immunoglobulins, are extracted from a native serum. No. Sand pest evolves and mutates in human blood. Fast. It doesn't do that in bulls. It's as though bulls are of no interest to it, but their antibodies could theoretically be useful. Of no interest? Wait a second. But unless the disease is weakened, we can't inject a person with those antibodies. It's too risky. Children, for example, definitely wouldn't survive the procedure. We're too different from bulls. Meaning, what we need is a, min a minotaur, a creature that combines man and bull. <laughs> what is it with him and the uh, chimeras? You want me to wait while you find a way to weaken the disease? No way. So it's a dead end. I see. Thanks, Adam. All right, Jay, what's our thought? Pankowski's findings support my own suspicions. Common bulls are useless to us. I'm glad we agree. That doesn't help, though. Okay, so common bulls are useless to us. What about uncommon ones? <laughs> Not even sure if that exists. There's a circle still open here. Sometimes a whole can be more than a sum of its part, and it can have special properties that the individual components don't. Is it true that bulls never get infected? This coming together... I feel like we're really close, we're really onto something now. Okay. 
Anyhow, this solves this. We could definitely check on the kids again, but in the interest of time, so it's just about hitting 11. Uh, I'm gonna put this back on our on our hideout. Uh, let's have a quick look where we are stats-wise. Hunger is okay, exhaustion, mm, halfway through. So probably by the time we arrive at our place, we may need to get some rest. First, we're still fine. It's immunity I'm very concerned about, particularly knowing that we now have to rush through here. But I'm hoping that when we get out, and I'll have a look again, in danger. I hope we can go through here and then through the back and then straight over there. And hopefully the infection is, the infection is not going to be in this area. So, anyway, let's do that. The good thing is we have saved, so if there's anything that I do wrong now on my way out, well, at the very least we can come back, I guess. No, nope. here. This is it. Let me just check the direction. Okay, so we need to go to the right and just one around the house. Let me double check this. Straight. Is that it? Over there? Yes, I think that's it. Hello, sir. I hope I'm already out. Straight. Oh, you're not taking anything from me? Well, that is a shame, but can't be helped. You don't take anything either. Oh, and all of them have the use, have the useful things. Stuff I could actually use. Okay, and now to the left and all the way over there. I can see our immunity bar still showing on the top left, so I don't know. I know I'm sidetracking again, but for some reason that looks highly interesting. But nothing here is highlighted, so I really shouldn't waste my time and... Um, There's nothing here. Okay. Map. And even more to the left. So, this is it. I will periodically press control just to see if we can find any herbs along the way. And this should also give us a good way and method to get our stamina replenished. So, it's basically a good mix of running, checking for herbs, running. Chicken for herbs, so we need more anyway again. And with the focus we just have an, a lot of it. It's a lot easier to spot them, I think. Uh, he says, and not seeing any of it. This was the area where last we were really successful. Oh, and I'm already standing in one, and I did see the sparkles come up, so that's odd. Maybe it's maybe they come maybe they are more pronounced during the night time, that could be Oh that's bad then, so I need to just run through and pay attention, I guess. Which is not great, because we don't really have the luxury of time on our hand. But then again, like I said, we do need the herbs, otherwise this becomes a bit of a fruitless exercise. Anything over here? Oh, there in the back. I think I saw some. What was that? That sounded like a like a snake, like a rattlesnake of sorts. Okay. So it really just doesn't highlight it. Oh my god. That's so terrible. So I need to come back then during night time, I guess, and collect more. Oh, and another hour passes. Twelve. Okay. Which direction? Yeah, we're looking in the right direction. There was one. Is 
I don't see it like this anyway. I might as well just rush through it. Apologies, this is obviously a little bit more dull now in experience, but see, we found another one. Not a lot of variety, I'm afraid. We have... Only one of the yellow ones. Oh, and we're lacking the water again. I wonder if we could go back to that one place to get more water. Might have to do that anyway. Oh, yeah. It's a shame that not only it is hard to see, but also that when you are close, the collect, like, um, the ability to collect doesn't, how it comes up is not the, um, it's a bit finicky, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, at least we have a few closed at the moment. Oh yeah, we're at the station again. Oh, look at that, a mini bull. <laughs> oh, I never thought that we could come back here. That's very artsy. But nothing here for us, okay. There's that stone circle. I think there's nothing here for us, is there? I'll take it. Okay, we're lacking water, but we can do two at least at the moment. And maybe, just maybe, if we get super lucky, that water dispenser in our hideout maybe has uh, replenished a little bit as well. I don't know. We will find out one way or another. Can I go? No, I can't go through here. Oh my goodness. Come on. Because we will need to drink something as well. But we do also have the milk, which we can use for both, I guess. Can't go in here. Okay. There we go. There is our humble abode. Thing showing. Can I get up there? Oh, I think I came this way before and I think we found out that we couldn't, right? Yeah, we can't. Okay, that's fine. Can we go into the water here? Yes, we can. My thirst is growing now. Just a quick check to see if there are any more herbs around. There are none, seemingly. Okay. Nothing here. It's okay. Well, it's not okay, but it can't be helped. And we're here. Sounds so ominous right now. Oh, he's here again. And we can talk to him. Hey, Murky. Rough as Dutch, safe to touch, smooth as bone, leave it alone. Didn't we have this saying like right at the very beginning? And it was about this suit, this stuff that was on the walls on houses. My friend told me she's ready to meet you. That's what she said, she did. Who is your friend, Murky? Is she human? I don't have time for games. Who is she? No. Then what? That friend of yours. Is she so sneaky because people are looking for her? Why is she afraid of me? Then what? I can't tell. How does she talk to you, kiddo? 
This is troubling. Tell her we can meet. You and I might have a friend in common, actually. Does yours have burning eyes and wear a long-nosed mast? Oh, the executor. Yeah, maybe. How does she talk to you? Inside. Then how can I meet her? My friend said that if you come to the Crowstone at night, she'll show herself. Crowstone at night. I have a bad feeling about this friend of yours. Why not the graveyard? Then I'll be there. Okay. Down here. Oh, this is culminating to this point now. I swashed the crowd. Murky's friend will wait for me after dark at the cross, but I don't like this one bit. Town. Can we see where that is? Oh, that's the entire... Oh, I don't need this. That's the entire map. I don't know where the crowstone is. Um, I am very sorry. I don't know. I hope it's gonna show up. If not, I may have to review past footage if... If there was anything already that gave that away, because right now I, I genuinely don't know. Get water. Excellent. It does refill. Thank goodness. It's empty though already again. Wow, that didn't last for very long. Brewery. Okay, so we have two more things. What did we create here? A potion with unknown properties. Made from an infected kidney. I must test it on a patient. And we have helps lower patient's pain. If taken before sleep, improves health. Made from liver tissue. Oh wow. Okay. That's very interesting. Alright. We want to have more mixtures. I want to have red and one yellow. Um, red and yellow should also, it should give us a yellow potion. Yes. And we want to take brown and yellow. And brown and yellow should, oh, I think it's the one we're missing that gives us an orange potion. Okay. Orange. That's the last one that I was missing, I think, in my list. I tried to scribble it down last time, but yeah, well, let's just say things got a little bit mixed up and messy. We can do one more and then the rest, although we have two things for thirst, so it's fine. We can do two more then. One. And two. And now we need water. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Okay. Whoop. Actually, let me check what is needed to tinkle with it one more time. Oh, we need another of those repair kits and another tweezer. So that's fine. What was it here? Tinker. Oh, we don't have a razor blade and this one. Which is a shame because I think we might need that. Yeah. Don't know where to get one though. Oh, we have one of those. Shall we? Shall we maybe? Should we do that at least? No, oh, wait. That's fine. Sorry. Where was it? This one. Okay, doesn't need repair. Fine. Okay. Okay. I kind of want to keep all of the other stuff purely because. Infected blood, yeah. I want to keep the other stuff there so that we have something to trade for. Because at the moment we don't really have much. Uh, we saw this already when talking to the different people. We have a number of a number of herbs, which is good. Unfortunately, time is running past if I'm just looking at an open cupboard, which is not great. Let's. Uh, Let's use this. Let's see both of this go massively back. That's great. Okay, it's two o'clock. Let's have a look at the town. We want to go over there to Saburov. I think I'm going to take a quick nap before we're heading out. 
And um, let me just do one last peek over here. Upgrade inventory. We, yeah, we have this, but nothing else. So that's fine. Can we do anything here though? We have the liver. Let's use the white one. Okay. Yeah. We still need one from the heart, I believe. Yeah, we could do one more with the infected blood, but that wasn't really helpful, I believe. So, no, let's not do that. I think that's more wasteful. You don't have anything else to say. So let's have a quick nap. I think... Should we do two hours? Let's do two hours. You know what? Let's cancel first, save, and then sleep. Two hours sleep. Okay. Okay, health also regenerated quite a bit, which is nice. Much better on the thirst. And over there, okay. Let me just quickly check here. The last time we went through down here, right? And I think this is where we found water. Can we loot this? No, we can't. Was it down there? Maybe even a little bit further. Yeah, I think it was further out. Just checking. Oh! Can I talk to you? I can. Did you find Isidore's killer yet? Not yet. Why are you asking? Not yet. You realize the same people who killed him also caused the plague? He stood in their way once and stopped them. This time, they succeeded. What? Oh, use your head. Isidore was killed, our only doctor. First murder in town for years. And what happens the very next day? An outbreak. You know, if a fire starts from four corners at once, smart folks call it arson. Who would do such a thing and why? Someone wants to eradicate the local population, maybe even wipe the whole town off the map. They don't even care if it takes them to their own grave. They can't live like this, so life is meaningless. Now, who has reason to hate the existing order of society? Use your head. You're talking about the kin? This is a steppe disease, brought by the steppe people. That's where we should be looking. This plague. It didn't start out of nowhere. It was engineered, directed by someone. Ask anyone. It's not natural. You're just making shit up. Great. A uh, candle stub. The stub of a nuptial candle. It smells of earth and peanuts, but I don't want any of it. I mean, that's one. We could trade this for three of those, but nah, it's fine. What did that bring up now? This outbreak is no mere cholera, pox, or flu. It has a hidden meaning, one you can't study with a microscope. I need to keep investigating. Rumor has it the outbreak didn't happen by chance. Someone made it happen. A person. Is it possible? I wonder if somehow... I know our father stopped it the first time. Maybe he realized something, needed, knew it had to come back. They were digging something up, right? What if he had something to do with it actually coming back? I mean, he got killed, right? Trade. What do you have? Chalk and a grindstone. Um, no. I'm good, thank you. Oh, it's here though. Okay. I'll just take everything for now. Okay. There's something over here. What would be even better would be 
water bottles because I'm just realizing I don't have any anymore. How did that happen? We had them in overabundance, basically. Well, all of a sudden they're gone. That's a bit odd, isn't it? Where are we map-wise? I want to go down there, though. So I think that's where we found the water. Trade. What do you have? Oh, my good. You take this for six, four. And that's a shame I can't haggle. Um, it's four and four. Well, I accept it, it's fine. What about this tinker? No. Looking through other people's windows, that's not very nice. There, I think that was the barrel. drink. No empty bottles. Ah, oh, gosh darn it. Yeah, so we found the right one. But, um... Oh, it's already five o'clock. Okay, we need to hurry up. Okay, uh, all the way through. Oh, and this is all infected. <laughs> no. Okay. Oh. What are you doing here? <laughs> no, no, don't mind me. You're just funny, that's all. That sounded a bit sinister. So, have you seen my parents? How are they doing? They care for one another. What about you? Why aren't you taking care of them? Subway office in trouble. People aren't happy with them because of you. I can't. I can't go there. I don't want to make them look suspicious. Why would you make them look suspicious? Forget it. You connected to this play, can't you, Clara? I suspect you patient zero, as the bachelor would have put it. Let's say you connected. Oh my god, sweet god in heavens, obviously, seriously, definitely, clearly, I'm not. Phew, you got me there for a moment. People believe that there's an urchin girl that the disease doesn't take for some reason. Do you know of many other suspects? Phew, you got me there for a moment. Uh, a ton. There are lots of urchin girls around, especially these days. No matter how many there are, those rumors are utter drivel. Sandpest kills everyone it touches. It's no salvation. Unless I help. Really? Many people think you're a saint, but there's something uncanny about you. You're not the only salvation. Really? Fools. Utter fools. They all think I'm connected to the plague because... because... I don't know why guess it's because I'm always first wherever calamity strikes. But that's because I rush to help. You're scaring me, Clara, and not just me. I'm a good person, Burak. You can tell lies from truth, don't you? Then you know I'm not lying. I'm a good person. And if anyone tells you I'm a shapeshifter, those are just rumors. Shapeshifters don't exist. Oh, fine, I believe you. I still need to hurry the F up. Maybe talk to some quick people on the way. Uh, nope. No one. You don't want anything. You have another chisel. That's good. Three. And this is four. And this is two. Uh, what if... Two, two, three, so five. I could give you six. <laughs> okay, it's fine. I'll give you this in exchange for this. Except, okay. Uh, map. Five, eleven. Yeah, let's just go straight and then round the corner. Just straight and round the corner. Oh, hello. Um, no. don't have empty bottles. Oh boy. I think that's the first time that we actually really ran out of them. Loot. 
Oh, what are you doing here? Oh, yeah, I definitely want those. And I want this. And you need eight. I will give you four. at least and it's clear water nice oh that means I could quickly at least this way I don't run the risk of um, of, of drinking the murky water you know oh, what do you have food now we have an overabundance in food all of a sudden again something's happening oh what was that Okay, and around the corner, we're almost there. But this is where, yeah, this is where it starts again. Okay, we have a couple of the immunity boosters, so let's make sure we stay, we stay on track. So just straight through, basically, is probably the shortest way, and then just into the, into the building. Oh, there's that stuff again. Oh, I just infected those two guys. Why are you here? The plague bringer is here, walking around. Is here? I had a fight with Sticky, all because of your father again. I'm so worried now. What if we never make up? Again? What do you mean again? Because everything is bad because of your dad. He always made everyone sad. Our dad. See? Maybe my theory is right. Really? Everyone? If it weren't for him, we would be living like we used to. Nothing would be bad. How do you know that? Is your friend telling you things? What did my father do? How do you know that? I know because I feel that way. Don't cry, little one. Please don't cry. Well, I guess that's not convincing. I hope I can make up with Sticky. I don't hate having a brother at all. Rumbles a lot. But he's really nice. He makes food for me. Yesterday, he brought me sugar. He put it over a candle and made a piece of candy. You'll make up. I'm sure of it. I think we can go through here. Yes. We need to be fast. We need to be fast. Nice. Another button. I have rotten food now. I don't want it. They're kicking each other. Oof, our immunity is low. Just need to take a quick sip of water. Immunity is low, but I think we are... I think we're, we're doing okay overall. Yeah, it's fine. As long as we avoid those really dark clouds, I'm gonna save again, because I think this went not too bad. Okay, there's two people. So it's Saburov and it's one of those people with the white face. I'll talk to you. F I'll talk to you first. Suspect. Who are you? Who are you? I'm innocent. Right, sorry, my mistake. Should I go now? There are no innocent men. The primordial sin weighs on us all. <laughs> Should I go? Give me a break. Shrike, the militia boss dragged me in here. He set it out for me for the past three years. Yes, I broke into the Cain's place. So? They don't need worldly things. I haven't sustained them. Why should I be treated like a murderer? Nice, the facial expression was really creepy just now. Haynes, what do they have to do with this? Broke the Haynes, please. Great work, very crafty. Did my father go there? What do they have to do with this? Well, Simon Kane was old Borak's pal. That night, I saw them parting near the crucible. A few minutes past midnight. Your father told him, I have three hours left, and you'll probably hold out for a bit longer. He must have known what fate awaited him. What do you mean? Look, this whole mess is none of my business, but your father knew that he had three hours left to live. I ended up talking about it once, when I'd had too much to drink, embellished a few things, and that's when Shrike took me in. Both of them were gone on that night, 
both your father and Simon Cain. We heard that story before, that's actually the truth. So who killed them? Hell if I know, but it sure wasn't me. I was just passing by and overheard them talking, right? They sounded like they'd planned it all from the start. Get it? I do. I think it starts to come together. Shit. What if it really was our father? Okay, what do we have? Who murdered father? I still have no idea. There's only one thing I can tell for certain. Sabrov knows even less. I can't rely on him in my search. That's true. That man is not a murderer. Curiously, his evidence suggests Simon Kane knew that father was doomed beforehand. Okay, so this now is completed, which is nice. We're still missing some things here, but I think... How we made our decision... Oh, Melky's friend. I think that's gonna be the one... But I don't know where the bluestone is. Hmm, not great. Not great at all. Can we still talk to Saburov? We can. A learned man knows the contents of everything and isn't content with anything. That's actually a nice play on words. I like it. It's uh, good you've come, Burak. We require medical assistance, and this time I can't rely on that troublesome Dankowski. Weren't you two getting along? We? I don't care about their quarrels. We? My wife is very ill, Burak. I'm not sure how to help her. What's wrong with her? She seems to be losing her mind. She... She's obsessed with things. Strange things. Go on. I'll keep this confidential. Your wife considers herself a mistress. She's supposed to see things no one else does. Go on. I'll keep this confidential. Katerina believes she cares for our town as if she were some mystical ruler. She is delirious. I think she communicates with something, some being. What kind of being? I'm not used to speaking about these matters. My mind tells me she's imagining it, but at times I can hear it respond to her. Yet, when I enter her room, I find her sitting alone on the bed, and I can't muster the courage to speak to her. It's hard to speak about these things. I understand. I'll examine her. Okay. Mm. Katarina Subur Saburova is sick, and it seems like the governor can also hear the voices in her head. The power of love? Or something shadier. That last play in the theater, that had love as the theme. Maybe that also, I mean, it all speaks about connection, the lines. Maybe this has something to do with, you know, people who love each other. Maybe there is a connection build up. Maybe that's why he can, to a degree, share maybe some of her visions, but we don't know for sure. We uh, need to have a look. She's probably in one of those other rooms, right? I should save again. I think this was very revealing. The game is saved. So, where do I find her? Where is your wife? Um, what? Oh, is there another entrance? Might be. Because right here... I can't go into this door. Let's take a peek around the house, which is not great, because remember, uh, everything here is still, um... There's that painting again, but this time in, like, Mohusif. Oh, M. Something happened. Sorry. Let's just open up the map real quick. Some evenings, kids gather at the station. Why did that come up again? Kids gather at the station. I'm much more interested in this throw stone. Right now, at least, I am. Anyhow, I didn't know that there was another space here. Yeah, I just saved. Okay, three, four, and then her. Let's talk to them in order. Katerina's reflection. The wisest woman in our town would take the title mistress. A word that calls to mind the tales of ancient sorcery. Do you believe in such a thing? Mistresses were two extraordinary women in the town's ruling families. There was something undeniably uncanny about them. 
It's not a matter of belief, they're not goddesses. Who do you think the mistresses are then? So two extraordinary women in the town's ruling families. Okay, let's go with that. There was something uncanny about them. Step son, you bear the marks of nature's flow upon your skin, but mind how thin the twire runs in your veins. You are more stone than earth. Like ships must catch the wind in sails. Our town relies on nature's flow. You are more stone than earth. Like ships must catch the wind in sails. Our town relies on nature's flow. And somehow that flow got interrupted. Didn't you? Nature is everywhere. Everything lives by her flows. Such flows are simple enough. Heat is their nature. Well, nature, technically speaking, is everywhere. None know how many winding paths there are. None know what forces run their course. There are no words for what they hold. To see them calls for gifted senses, gifted minds. And should one hear the call of such gift, what feats, what brave new world they'd find with it, like being the very first to hoist a sail. Such gifts are not yet the domain of mankind. We lost that gift when we learned to make tools. I think it's not yet the domain of mankind. Victoria Oljemskaya and Nina Kaina. One five foot six, one six foot one. Mortals, but seen as giants, for they could feel the powers move across the firmament. Women can sense these things. Some merely know the flows, some feel them now and then. A mistress tastes those waves, might drink of them, and when the stars align, might ride them. The people felt such women knew the workings of the world itself. And that's it? How is that not enough? The mistresses kept their hands quite clean of rough and tawdry magics. Victoria knew not a spell that brought the dead to life, but Nina did inspire fear. Along her steps, doors shut and children hid. But those two women gave the town its life. None know the hows or whys of such a power. I felt that Victoria did raise the dead, but that's probably just a room. Clearly they didn't bolt those doors tightly. Yes, I knew a man like that, nobody knew how, but his presence would severely change the pressure every time. Okay. Gone. Katrina's reflection. Two mistresses there were, and all felt that to be correct. For one was night, and one was day. One was heat, and one was cold. One was storm, and one was calm. Contrast reigned. Nina held court over schism and unease. Victoria's domain was peace and nourishment. Okay. The bright and the fearsome, as they were called, the dark and the warm, taste and laughter. Mm -hmm. Bright and fearsome. The Canes had Nina, the Olchimskis had Victoria. When Saburov returned with his young bride, my Katarina, there was no place for her in such a scheme. But her hairs would raise, and her skin would sense it. And once Nina did perish, Katarina took her place and seized a name for herself. Nina the wicked, the wild, or the nocturnal? <laughs> um, I mean, I don't know. The nocturnal? Nina did only drive men to fear, but Katarina, naive as she was, mistook the nuance of Nina's role for a romantic darkness, and that in turn would drive her down the road to frightful things. And nobody really noticed. Luckily she never became a second Nina. And nobody really noticed. Victoria died, and Katerina replaced both mistresses. Two roles to play. She grew into neither, but patient folk would wait for her to find her gift. And some may still await that day. True, it is easier to be fearsome than kind. She should have stayed out of those games. She took our strange customs to see It is easier to be fearsome than kind. That's very true. It's a sad reality, but a true one. Wild Nina begat Maria, the talented, 
warm Victoria, the great Capella, the gifted. My mistress has no one. She'd take any child to raise as her kin, gift or no gift. Is she afraid? She sits in darkness, weaving blackest yarn from heaviest thoughts. She'd rather knit baby socks. Instead, she drapes black folds around her throat and chokes. There, there, no need to cry. Don't whine, reflection. At night, we hear her talk to herself. Mad. I failed to give life to the town. Talentless. I failed to nourish town or child. Giftless. I failed to guard against plague. Useless. I am barren. I could prescribe something for her nurse. A grown woman still playing at being a sorceress. She'll manage, hopefully. It's definitely still time for her to have a child. I don't know, um, hopefully. Uh, can we loot? I mean, it didn't say that they would know or they would be angry or anything like that. Oh, yes, please. Yes, please. We can't take the tourniquets, but I think we're doing okay health-wise, right? Otherwise, I could just move the bloody bandage in there, because that one is quite useless, actually. It's pretty better. One more reflection. But have you heard such wondrous news? We wait in awe for our new daughter, true and talented. And such a talent, sir, a blessed gift. And now we are not two, but three. And one will much more mighty than two be. I'm happy for your mistress. So where's this girl? She's pregnant? Oh, I think... Are they talking about the changeling? So, Clara, then. So where's this girl? She walks the streets and does her chores. Bound to this plague somehow. She has the gift. So she must stay to stop the plague. Salvation can and must come from the house of Saburov. Your mistress has gone mad. I've met that girl. She doesn't get carry a long list of chores. What is this gift? Is that even important right now? I've met it. She doesn't need carry a long list of chores. Okay, I guess it's time we talk to the wife. What is this disease? Well, we're trying to find out. Suitors are coming. Trying to woo me. Okay. Katerina Saburova. Do you know, Burak? Where mistress power comes from, the prophetic dreams, her influence over others, keeping the town in balance. I don't. Tell me. The power of a mistress stems from the earth, and only from the earth, no matter what Nina may have said. The only true power is in the earth. It feeds us all. We grow as grass in the field and breathe in its spirit. There are other powers out there. We're all bound to Earth. We're all bound to Earth. All these years, I couldn't find the key. I was deaf and weak. It's like musical talent. Without it, one can hear, but cannot play. One without the gift cannot take up a melody started by another. I don't have an ear for music either. All gifts are like that. Surgery too. Each body has its own feeling. But recently, the earth started to respond. The tiny people living underground. Mice and rats and worms. Worms too. But mice are more reliable. Rats. They're just like us. Their intelligence equals ours. Are oh, you right? You're raving. You need just... The earth and rats are different beings. Don't confuse one for the other. Are you right? Earth has no mouth, no ears. I see why my past attempts were fruitless. But it took pity on me. It speaks through its herald to me. He comes to me, tells me truths. Truths a mistress must know. All as it should be. What does it tell you? He says the sand pest and the earth are one and the same. That means there is no salvation. We are bound to the earth. We walk it, we breathe it in. We eat its roots, we cannot escape it. Our bond is inseverable. He's right. All signs confirm it. I hear a voice, it is the voice of your fear. 
but the disease appeared only recently. The earth has been here forever. Ah, I don't know. I don't know anything. Here he comes again. He wants to speak to me. I don't want to. I'm scared. Not to me. When I heard his voice, I began to believe in my power. But now I see this power is useless. You need to get some sleep. Sound sleep will help. There's no one in this room but us. You need to get some sleep. Bro? Yeah. All in danger now. It's definitely something. Okay, prophylaxis. Minister and immunity booster. Well, we only have those three, so I hope it. I hope it does something for her. Okay. Oh, I knew there was something. Red Prophet, a human. Red, what kind of creature are you? A thing of shadow, a thing of the depths, a thing of earth, flesh of her warm flesh. I know the answers. You don't even know the questions. What seek you within me? Happiness, same as everyone. Truth. I'm just seeking you. Truth. What do you want to hear, human? Does the plague really come from Earth? What kind of creature are you? Why are you torturing this woman? I kind of want answers to all of them. But really, big picture, we're looking at the plague, right? I feel very sorry for Katerina, but she is one lady. This is about the town and all of the inhabitants at the moment, so does the plague really come from the earth? Everything comes from the earth. You came from it as well, and will return in time. Is coming from the earth so great a crime that one must burn for it? If I kill as many as the sandpost, yes. Not necessarily. Here, the earth is still alive. Truly alive. You should know better than most, if you remember your pitiful childhood, of course. All living things resist death. Do you understand? I don't, but the sand past is death itself. Time of the time, I am amazed by humans. The naivety, the conceit. You consider yourselves the crown of creation. That alone puts you above help. Any mouse understands its place better than your sorry species. Not all of us. Only a handful of you think differently. Like this unusually sensitive woman. But even they are not prepared to confront that which they seek. The truth snaps them in half like matchsticks. All in all, you are a weak lot. Speaking of this woman, leave her alone. I'm asking nicely. How do I kill the plague? Tell me if you know so much of the earth. How does one kill the self in oneself? Answer me this little question, human. You still haven't found any answers to this riddle, other than mundane suicide. Carry on with that. We will help. Who is we? So dumb. How can one be so dumb? So dumb, worthless, and narrow-minded. I hope you don't have any other questions. I've got some, but I don't care for your answers. I feel that all your words are lies, or truths twisted beyond repair. Okay, what the heck? What, where, what? Oh, great, yeah, just put us outdoors where the pest is raging right now, so that's great. Um, thoughts. They say not all victims of the sand pest die. They say there was a will behind the outbreak. 
They say it came from Earth. It's not just a disease. We get that. The spirit tormenting Katerina is real. Because living Earth is real. It bears things like this Rat Prophet and Sand Plague itself. Okay. Why did it kick us out of the house now? Turn. Okay, so this is gone. We have the kits and I still don't know where this round stone is and we only have a couple more hours left. I mean, all in all, I can honestly say I just want to get out of this area. Because that's obviously where the disease is raging right now. I wonder if we can just go that way back. I know this is quicker, but then we have to go all the way around again. And I'm wondering if this glowstone, whether that's something out here. I kind of have a, I have a feeling it might be. I'm worried it might be something far here. Turia's tomb, Nina's tomb. No, that wasn't it. Crucible, the polyhedron, the still water, vast place. Wow, the skull-faced bison cells, human organs. Oh, that, yeah, that was the, the chemist, I believe. Considering something here. Clothes. Grocery. Dilapidated shack. Flood's house. Reeves house. Shady shop. Broken heart workshop. The pub of Andre Stamatin. We still haven't been there, by the way. <laughs> Not even once. I guess it never really felt like a good time to go to the pub, right? Our father's house grocery. Grace's lodge. Aspity's hospice. And nothing here really is highlighted. Okay. <laughs> I want to quickly go inside again at the very least and um, save the game. Because I felt like this was a very abrupt ending. There's something else. No, right. This was it. Spirit tormenting is real. Okay. This was an X. I just want to quickly save the game. Okay. There wasn't anything else here for us to take. And I guess, no. No more talking to her possible. Yeah, we got it all. No. We got it all from here. We, we could do this and this now. Take this with us again. Just so we're maximizing what we carry. Okay, so what do we think? I think this is the only one now that is active, but we also got some water again. And it's more or less the same direction, so I think I'm gonna head over there. Um oh I should probably check. I need to check when I'm a uh, minute I'm outside, which way I need to go. Okay, to the left, or just well, just through there again, right? Yeah, all the way through as quickly as we possibly can. You don't take anything from me, so that's fine. Oh, no, 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 did I take the... No, I didn't take the wrong way. Okay. Is that one of those attackers again? No, he looks okay. Right, so... And to the left, this is where we actually want to go. I think we probably checked everything now on the way, but I just... I just want to make sure. Just want to make sure, okay. Where are we now? Clothes, I mean. It's fine. Can we have a look at this? We didn't. <gasps> no, we can't really take it. That's, uh, okay. Well, now it lies on the ground. 
shit right there. What's with the newfound music all of a sudden? I don't have the space for it really. I have the full one and that's it. So the empty bottle is now lying in the ground there as well. Sorry guys. At this moment in time I just I just can't help you. Trade. No, I don't want trade over here. Tinker. No. Trade. Oh. You give me four, but you want Three and six. No. I mean, this is for health, though. You know what? I played it to you. It's fine. Also means we have some space again. Uh, let's make sure I put this over here. Sorry, I know time is running, but. Um, that empty water bottle, I'd really like to take it. Thank you. It's clean water, nice, we can drink. No, 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 not again. Go away. I don't want any of that weird black mist again. Going in the right direction, I think we are. Oh. Oh no, I have no space. Ah. Oh my gosh. Come on, don't do this to me. No, we have space. Because the empty bottle. Now I saw this is a bottle with water. Oh my goodness. Lucky. Alright, and we're back at our place. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. I think, I think what we're gonna do is, I think we will tinker two more potions. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Take a quick stock at where we are. Um, what we have. So let's put some stuff out here right now, just uh, because we don't immediately need it. I'm gonna take more with me again, don't worry. Put this, this, this things, chup, chup, chup. nuts, pebbles. Yeah, I think that's enough. Okay, we could do. Red and brown and red and orange, right? Red and brown is gonna give us a white one. Uh, red and orange. Oh, red and orange. Let's do red and orange first. I think I'm missing this one from my mixing one. Red and orange. That's, oh, that's a yellow bubbly one. That's great. And then we do a brown one with one of the red ones, yeah. And that's another white one. Cool. Very good. So let's make sure for all of this stuff with us. Because we need to test them anyway. Um, what do we need to keep here? We need to keep this here. Wait, 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 what else was there? I think, uh, no, we don't have that. We, oh, we're missing a razor blade, okay. We're missing a razor blade, so we should keep at least one here, one of this here. Oh, we can do this. Uh, 
Okay, nice. That's good. Not enough resources. I think this is pretty much full, right? That's the start again. Okay, that's fine. And what was it here? Upgrading. Oh, we just need a red thread. We can do it. We can do it. Excellent. Oh, what's this? I've never seen this. Okay. Not enough resources. Hang on a second. We upgrade it, but we actually don't have it anymore. Uh, I don't understand, but yeah, can we split the stack, split, yeah, select, I want to keep this here, I also need to keep this here, um, did we have those down here before? That's what upgraded. We have more inventory space. Oh my god. This is amazing. Thank you very much. This is great. This is absolutely great. Let's do some of this tradable stuff down here. Because I don't think we need it for anything else other than for trades. That's just lovely. Honestly. Really great. Okay. Let me double check what this one needed. Uh, Tinker. It's the tweezers. Yeah, I have all of that already there. Okay, cool. Nice. Good. Again, progress. Nice. We can take this to trade it, and I think this is the important bits and everything else. We can, well, relatively freely choose, and we have more inventory space. Guys, this is awesome. And this potion is now also ready. Okay, what was it again? Helps lower patient's pain. If you before sleep, improves health. Made from liver tissue. Painkiller? Okay because it wasn't an infected one. That's why it was not infected. Eating the whole fish. Nice. Perfect. It wasn't infected, so it's a painkiller. Super. We've taken before sleep, so we could even use it before our exhaustion. All right. Great. Let's have a quick look if our friend here... No? Because the other boy, Merc oh, the girl, Murky, said that she, they had a fight, and I think it, she was referring to him. All right, you guys, I think I will um, pause here for the time being. Um, we obviously have this little thing to check out, what the kids are doing. We do need to find that crow stone. We have three and a half hours left. I'm thinking maybe one hour quick sleep, quick nap, and then trying to figure out where that, where that crow stone is. I definitely want to see who slash whatever it is that is speaking with Murky. I wonder whether it's also that red thing. The same one that was talking to Katarina. I wonder. Anyhow, thank you so much for joining me again. This felt again like good progress. And I, it's like, I feel like we're getting closer. There's still, there are still elements missing. I wonder, will we figure out, like, is the... Is the theory that I came up with that our father somehow negatively is involved with the upbringing of this pest. Is that going to come to fruition? Is it just yet another distraction? Hopefully more and that we will figure out on the next one and I hope of course that I will be seeing you again. But until then, please look after yourself and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye bye.